some people will tell you that you can never be a part of a community or you can never be accepted completely by locals and I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today I am filming from my hometown in Japan, Fujiyoshida City, Yamanashi Prefecture. It's the first place I live in Japan. And today I'm going to talk about what it's like to really find and be accepted, truly, genuinely find yourself to be a part of a community in Japan. Let's get into it. The truth of this place for me is pretty simple. If I was given the opportunity to change my career, to give up my university teaching career in Yokohama and move back out here to find myself in a similar salary or position in this community, would I change? In a heartbeat. I would absolutely move back out here. And it's not even that difficult of a decision for me. And who knows, I'm maybe, maybe becoming a YouTuber will be my chance to get back out here. I doubt that very much. I'm a small channel and I don't mind being a small channel. But hey, if you want to help me become a full-time YouTuber so I can move back out here, hit the like button so that the video gets out to a larger YouTube audience. Feed the algo, so to speak. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I would very much appreciate if you would join the family. You could probably see Mount Fuji in the background behind me. That view never got old while I lived here, but living here was a lot more than just Mount Fuji. I came here in 2002 on the Japan Exchange Teaching Program, or the JET Program as it's called, and I worked for three years at a junior high school, public junior high school, working as an assistant language teacher teaching English. And that in and of itself is not remarkable or spectacular, but the way I became a member of this town's community is what is truly special. And it was organic. It wasn't something that, you know, I had to try hard to do. It wasn't something that was really easy to do because everyone wanted, you know, a foreigner to join their group or become their friend or something like that. No, it wasn't either of those things. It just happened. Gradually, slowly but surely, I found myself in more and more communities through different activities, through different acquaintances, through different friends. For example, I thought about joining the local Taiko drumming group and I went to a couple of their practices, decided it wasn't for me, ended up taking shamisen lessons again. Well, the Taiko group, they would have liked to have had me, but they weren't terribly put out that I didn't join them either. Basically, they treated me just like any other possible candidate. I picked up the shamisen instead, which is the traditional Japanese uh, kind of guitar-like instrument. It's three strings. And I took lessons and joined recitals and concerts after I got proficient. And, you know, that opened up the community to me. I met a lot of people through that. You know, I'd have lunch with other members of my studio and, you know, I'd meet people who'd been to the recitals who were like, oh, hey, I saw you at the recital. Um, why did you get interested in the shamisen? And, that, you know, those sorts of conversations would happen. But those sorts of things that got me involved in the community. And what that has done is that whenever I come back here, I'm always running into people that I know. I know a lot of people here and I just run into them, have a conversation. Hey, how's it going? How's your family? Oh, you moved to a new house. How's that working out? All those sorts of things. It's just ordinary everyday life that I became a part of here and not ironically as a foreigner. I mean, it was just a natural process. And honestly, it isn't until recently that I 
really came to realize that that's a big thing that I've been missing in my life. Yokohama life has not been the same. Yokohama life, I haven't felt like I was a part of the community like I did here. And you might be thinking, well, that's pretty obvious because it's a big city and big cities are harder to do that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, that's true, except that I don't actually live in downtown Yokohama. I'm not by Yokohama Station or Minato Mirai area or any of the places where I guess all the big buildings are, so to speak. No, I'm in a more rural area, you might say, or like a suburb, I suppose. Because Yokohama definitely has areas that are not, you know, highly populated with buildings and lots of people. I shop at a local supermarket. I go to the same little bread store all the time. You know, I have these local businesses that I frequent, but it hasn't really happened that I've made the acquaintances that I did here. It's a different situation. It might be possible in the big cities. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't make this happen in Tokyo or wherever, but generally speaking, Tokyo and the big metropolises are not the rest of Japan. They're different in a lot of ways. Similar in some, but different in many others. Maybe if you move to a kind of traditional shitamachi in Tokyo, the downtowns where everyone who lives there is like many many generation Tokyoite um, then perhaps you might make the right connections and friends and become a part of a community like that but that's certainly not the norm in the big city so I guess what I'm getting at is if I could encourage anything it's get out and live in a community somewhere else in Japan, if at all possible. You'll find yourself with more opportunities to connect with the local populace and become involved in local community things. I joined the local festivals. I carried the portable shrine, or what's called mikoshi in Japanese, in the local fire festival here. And I actually have footage of the fire festival um, that I took two years ago and I will link that in the description below if you want to see what a festival really looks like and I don't do any commentary at all so you don't have to listen to me you can just go and watch that video and see what a Japanese festival is all about but I really always felt accepted here and I still do like I mentioned I'm still meeting people here that I know all the time and it's never strange or I, I, I don't feel out of place. Like if I go to a new place in Japan, I always feel like a tourist. When I come here, I feel like I've come home. And when the mood hits me, sometimes when people ask me where I'm from, I even tell them I'm from here. I'll say, oh, I'm from Fujiyoshida Yamanashi. And after a moment of confusion, I'll say, well, yeah, I'm originally from America, but Fujiyoshida is my hometown. So this town has a very special place in my heart and the people because of how welcoming and how naturally they sort of let me join and become a part of their community. It's entirely possible in Japan. Some people will tell you that you can never be a part of a community or you can never be accepted completely by locals and I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. It is possible you can become part of a Japanese community in a way that's not as a token foreigner or anything like that. No, genuinely a part. So that's the good news. I suppose the bad news is, is that I don't know when I will ever be able to recapture this myself. Now, don't get it wrong, I do have friends in Yokohama. I do get together with people, I'll go out with people. Um, last week I caught up on all of the episodes of Loki because my neighbor across the street is also a Marvel fan, so we watched Loki together. So, yes, I have a circle of friends, and I'm not talking about circles of friends. Um, that's certainly possible wherever you are. You can make friends in Japan pretty much anywhere. What I'm getting at is the larger community feeling and being a part of the community beyond just your friends, but being 
recognized and seen as part of the local populace and just fit in. So, at any rate, this was kind of a rambling episode, not terribly focused, but I wanted to share the idea that, you know, you can become a part of a community in Japan and I encourage each and every one of you to try to experience living life outside of the large metropolises if you can possibly swing it. It's definitely a different experience and a worthwhile one. Anyway, thank you very much for this brief walk through my hometown with me. Thank you for watching the video and if you still have not hit the like button or subscribe as at this point, I invite you to do so. And I thank you very, very much for watching this particular video. I will see you next Friday. Peace.